your agency has uh, been into uh, uh, do the examination is that you're requesting a, a huge amount of data, uh, you know, and it, it, a couple of things. One, uh, it's very sensitive information. Secondly, it's, it's very costly. Uh, you know, uh, the examination process is generally meant to be a sampling, going in and looking at a few records That's to determine right. if there's a pattern of practice in here. As I understand it, in many cases, you're requesting almost the entirety uh, of the, the records of those companies. Uh, I, I don't think that was the intent of Congress. Uh, we got OFR, they're, they're collecting data. We got IRS collecting data. Yeah. And I think that one of the things we need to hear from you is who has access to that data and what you're doing to secure that data. Uh, I, Brief I answer, we, please. We typically do proceed by sampling and tend to do so. Sometimes it's situational. If we're into an enforcement situation, we may need to know uh, all the consumers affected to make sure they're getting restitution as appropriate. But uh, happy to follow up with you further on that. But I, I think I share your instinct. We should be sampling, not oppressing institutions. That's what I, we're trying to do. The time, time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Ina Hosa. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman Hengerling. I want to thank <clears throat> Director Cordray for his testimony and hard work on behalf of America's consumers. Director Cordray, I'd like to congratulate you on your bipartisan confirmation in the